Hey everyone, it's, uh, Joe, and today I have a guest, TJ. And so I had this project that I had decided I'd be really cool. You know, it'd be really cool is to be able to change how we can preview files in Explorer. And I've just been crazy busy, so I asked TJ to to take it on for me. And uh, man, he delivered. Let's let's do a quick demo here of how the tool works. It's what what did you call them? Preview handlers. For example, yeah. I mean, preview handlers are the thing that uh, allow you to basically see a preview based on the file type in Windows Explorer. You get a visual feedback basically, even without yeah. opening a file. That's yeah, cool. that's, yeah, it's really cool. It's very handy because often, especially if it's a larger file, you don't want to have to open mm -hmm. Word, Cell or something. You can just have a quick look um, and often copy. You know, it depends on the program. You want to give a little demo on how it works? Certainly. So now I have here basically an Explorer window displaying folder with a plenty of different file types. I have actually preset the preview handler for most of these file types, maybe all of them that I want to show here and introduce. But the way this works is that you will have to first, um, I think it's, it's under the view tab, there's the preview pane option. You can disable and enable it and once it's enabled, you simply then select a particular type of a file and you get a preview in the preview pane. And it not only works with uh, like plain text files, but also with some of these quote unquote binary formats, such as Microsoft Document and also Excel and other similar file types where the only condition essentially is that you need to have what's called a preview handler installed in your Windows system. And not all file types have that by default, but some of these most used ones, there are actually preview handlers like out of the box installed in the Windows that you can use to display them. And the application that I've created here is this little GUI in the bottom where you essentially have like two or three areas that you interact with. First of all, you would type the name of the file extension that you want to set a handler to. Let's say I would want to adjust the TXT file handler, which currently is going to be displayed here. Once you finish typing the extension, it's a Microsoft PDF previewer. And even though the name might mislead you to think that this previewer only is capable of displaying PDF file previews, it's actually I think it can handle any plain text file just as well. But th then there's the drop down menu in the bottom where you, you can essentially replace the current preview handler with one of your choosing. Let's say I would want to use the like native Windows TXT previewer. I would select that and then hit the preview, uh, the bind handler button. You get a little message box that says that the handler has been changed and now you would actually have to like refresh the Windows Explorer view by let's say cycling the file back and forth. And there's not much of a difference here visible between these two handlers. Maybe you could actually spot that the font is slightly different. I think the font size increased also a little bit. So like that's a short summary of the tool. I mean, we could go around and check some of these different file types, what they actually look like in the preview handler pane. PDF files are also supported. I think I have the PDF previewer. Yeah, that's a sign for the PDF file type. HTML files sort of display, like you can see the links, the text, but then the images apparently are not supported in Windows by default, you actually get this little hint up here saying that some pictures have been blocked and you actually need to open the HTML file if you want to properly view every interactive or graphical content in the file. Yeah, yeah the one I was going to add to that though is if you go ahead and just select the, the preview handler list that you have there, um, just so people understand, yours probably doesn't look exactly like this. Neither does mine, right? It's independent on your computer on what programs you have installed. And if those programs had a preview handler option, uh, then they'll be registered here, hopefully. And then you can select it from the list. But not a, it, it's every computer will be some of the core, I'm sure Windows has, but they'll be very you know different on what's available. Yeah. I'm guessing in my case, probably other ones, but the Microsoft Excel 
Word and PowerPoint handlers have been there like since the day one. But like Joe said, you would have a lot more depending on what software you have installed. The one that I I happened to, I was playing with this and then I realized like I see you have a GIF here and normally in like an animated GIF, don't play in Explorer. And yet, was it the PDF, yeah, the PDF viewer, which is crazy, right? Like why would you think the PDF viewer would be an animated? Because there's a Windows yeah. Media Player handler and it doesn't animate it. So it was a really weird thing. So you have to kind of play with it to say, hey, what's the best one? What do I want to associate these two? Yeah, yeah. So, oh, so you can hit play. Okay. So it just doesn't play it by default. Right. Yep. Which makes sense, right? Because it's a, a media yeah. player thing. Um, but agree, yeah. 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 So it's uh, very cool that you can, because often I just don't want to, I don't know the exact file I'm looking for and I want to be able to peek inside it, but I don't want to have to open it in a, in a large program. So mm -hmm. this is a free tool. He created it, but um, I'll be hosting it just because he'd done the work for me, but you'll get the URL here and you can get his contact infos in the information on the auto hotkey script. So you can grab it from there. I mean, tell us a little bit more. So RPA mania, that's um, your main business, right? Yeah, that is correct. I'm essentially selling my expertise as consultancy. Nice. Basically doing RPA or robotic process automation for living primarily. That's my primary source of income, but yeah. Do so we both these scripts too. I was gonna say we both program in auto hotkey and it's how we kind of got to know each other. Auto yeah. hotkey is amazing because you can do basic RPA, but you can also create your own tools and programs totally from scratch. Mm -hmm. And so we created the standalone program. But I know you use UiPath, right? Which is as far as the RPA spectrum, there's desktop automation, and then there's the other extreme where you're really like AI type auto, full automation. And mm -hmm. that's where UiPath does a lot better job than AutoHotKey in being able to do something that's going to deal with like hundreds of thousands or millions of executions or applying, uh, like if you want to scan a document and find where people signed every time and, and automatically registering, you could program that all with auto hockey, but it would take you a long time. This is where tools like what you use are, are yeah. faster. They've got that built into it, right? Yes. But also the downside is that you will have to pay quite a, quite a lot for yeah. those two licenses aren't exactly inexpensive right. in that domain. Yeah, they have, and, and you and I were talking about this a little while ago, they've gotten better. They do have some for small businesses, some versions that mm -hmm. you can still use and not break yeah. the bank. But uh, yeah, I've, from talking to Tank about, he used to work doing installing automation anywhere and the prices and the licenses and then the in the dev environment and the other environments, you need a license for each one of those. It was just yeah. like, woo. Um, now, if you're doing the bulk, the you know, if you're doing a million things a week or something, it's worth it because you save a ton of work. But Absolutely. yeah, awesome. So let us know if you have any questions. Uh, like I said, I'll, his contact info, we'll put it in the description of the video as well. Um, and how you can get the tool, but it's a, it's a very cool tool. Let us know if there's some issues and we'll try to address them. We found as with anything, we're like, Hey, there's a really simple idea. And then it just keeps adding to it. But, um, we're, this is now finally in a spot where I think it's, it's pretty cool. And I'm looking forward to, cause it's, it's very handy to be able to just change that what's previewing it and get something that you can use quickly. I know uh, as a last note, I should probably add that you can, there's also the restore original button, right. which, yeah helps you to get back the original handler that was in the beginning of like the use session of this preview handler manager. So yeah, if you mess it, handlers and you can't remember what you had in the beginning, you can still restore it. That's awesome. Yeah. So it'll, it, if you remind me, it'll, it creates a backup of your registry and saves it where the script's installed. Is that right? Yeah, that's true. So I even if you exit this application and then have second thoughts about restoring the original handler, you can find the register file right. in the same location where you have this application stored in. Yeah, because editing your registry, you know, is it can be dangerous, right? Mm -hmm. If you know what you're doing, it's okay. Yeah. But if something gets corrupted, you can shut down your computer. And so when we were talking about it, I'm like, oh, we would need to make sure we have a way people can restore what was there before even though I'm not worried about it, us breaking the stuff, but it's just no one, we don't want people manually editing the registry unless they know what they're doing. Yeah. All right, so thanks everyone. If you learned something here, please like the video. It really helps us out or subscribe. We publish a lot of videos and uh, 
reach out to TJ if uh, you're interested in getting, especially, you know, automation work or, well, any sort of automation, automating of programs. Um, yeah. yeah. All right. Cheers. Thanks for, thanks for the work, by the way. Sure.